He thought about it for like 10 seconds and he's like, Autumn Lucius. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to another episode on the Big Dame Podcast. I will welcome my old guest. When I mean old, I mean new guest. When I mean new, I mean, I don't where, know. Where are, you, where are you going with this? <laughs> <laughs> so that familiar voice is Matt Warnock. Welcome hey, back. Hey. Clank. <laughs> that was a cheers. <laughs> uh, I'm going to take a little sip. Always taking sips on this podcast. You know what I mean? I gotta get ready. Um, so, one quick update for you guys. I don't know if anyone noticed, but once you become a podcaster and start editing and really listening to the sound quality... You know what's good, you know what's bad, like you hear things you normally wouldn't hear. And so I just got this new computer um, the other week and so it was probably only like the second time I had recorded on the new computer um, and still using Audacity uh, to record. And there's different inputs and outputs to set up my interface. So that interface, um, is able to connect the microphone that I use into that and then the interface plugs into the computer okay all right hope I didn't lose you so I was listening to it and then it sounded okay and then I'm like this doesn't really sound like as clean almost like it's there's something something off it wasn't like distorted but it just wasn't that like solid well, I have, like, an amazing microphone. Here it is. This is, like, I recorded outside under a rock and the hell. So, <laughs> so sorry about that. Like, the thing, it, like, wasn't, I don't think, set up right for the, is it the output? Your input. The was input. Not, your input was not right. <laughs> output, input, output. Your laptop, your laptop so was recording you instead. It was, yeah, I don't know. So, I don't know. It was just strange because I'm like, well, I didn't touch anything like from the previous time, but I don't even know. So, just wanted to let you guys know in case you really like turn this on like in your car and you're like, what the hell is this? So, that's what happened. All right. So, what we're getting into today is just kind of wrapping up 2020 okay um what i actually realized from you guys from like you know what kind of things you enjoy listening to or kind of like stories where i'm like in a vulnerable like situation <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, this this got a lot of, like, listens. Um, so we will we'll chat about that. And then, I don't know, Matt, like, how crazy it, is it that, like, it's December? Like, I feel like December, like, just happened because COVID was, like, off the charts and just, well, no pun intended, but, yeah. <laughs> well, in December, COVID was not on the charts, but... I keep getting those like Snapchat memories of things we were doing back then, like going out in the city and whatnot, and it makes me nos nostalgic, even though it was just a year year ago. I know, and it went so fast, um, but also to think like, wow, like I started this beginning of April, and then you know, collected so many uh, episodes so I could you know have enough to you know, have for you guys to listen. And then before you know it, like submit it end of May. And then it was literally, it was like the best news like ever on Memorial Day. 
And I got, you know, those confirmations. Spotify was like, yo, you did it. <laughs> <laughs> yo, you, yo, you did it. <laughs> <laughs> I got like an audio file. Like, what is this? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But, um, you know, but it was like so fun. And then I thought like, oh, my gosh, I like really like this is it. Like, I got to keep this going. <laughs> um, but, yeah, here we are. December just wrapping the whole year up but don't worry I have like a couple more episodes left for you guys for December so this is not the last one um but yeah we just wanted to talk about um some of our favorite episodes and some of the episodes that I noticed that you guys enjoyed too and so Matt and I you know since he joined me on a handful of episodes I kind of want him to be a part of it so here we are and for the background noise i apologize if you can hear this but who do you think it is moo or lydia i mean i can see who it is so <laughs> <laughs> that would be cheating for me to guess <laughs> and it's lydia she's like playing with one of the presents it's underneath the tree it's actually it's she's playing with a string but she's also playing with the, the gift i got for your mom I don't understand what she's saying. Oh, I, for I, my ma. I don't Denise. really. I don't really understand. Denishkin. <laughs> <laughs> that's what. That's what. Um, my dad's German cousins. German cousins. That's what they would call her when. I don't know what. I guess so. The kin. I think. I feel like I might sound dumb saying this, but it's kind of like when I think of like Spanish like oh like a little like cute you know it's kind of like that that Ida you know if you will for Spanish speakers so for German I believe it's like the kin like the Ishkin so like oh like little Denise or like cute <laughs> cute Denise you know so anyway can sorry, I, can I, I call her tangent. that next time I see her <laughs> I don't know what she would do Oh, sure. hello, Denishkin. <laughs> what kind of accent is that? It's like an old person mixed with, like, I don't know. Um, but, yeah, just that was like a side tangent. Um, so, okay, so why don't we first talk about the um, the pilot episode? Oh, my God. Like, I just remember that it was a thursday night and we actually were planning to record the next day and then after having like two drinks and then i was like <laughs> man i'm like yelling from downstairs from the steps i'm like do you want to actually do this tonight and i think you were just playing video games or something so I was like, well, he's not doing anything, so he's obviously <laughs> I'm very occupied. <laughs> available. So sure enough. Oh, sorry guys, I'm a little congested. Um sure enough we um you know got things set up and no, I didn't have this awesome microphone. We were using Matt's microphone. Like I'm glad that you actually had something that we could that I could start with to help. Um, you're dating a music producer. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, later we, after listening, there was like a couple like distorted sections. So we're like, all right, this one is okay, but we got to, I needed to get a microphone like stat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, what do you remember from that? Like, were you thinking like, oh my gosh, like, this is happening. I mean, that's the way I was thinking of it. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, no. I was just like all for it. I was just like, sure, let's do it. Because I, I, I was, I was pretty excited just by the fact that you wanted to embark on another, like, on an, on an ambitious project. So um, <laughs> I was gung ho about it and supporting it and <laughs> trying to supply what skills and knowledge it's like it's pretty much just like everything fell into place it just worked so and i think for having like for it being the first episode i feel like we did a, like a pretty good job <laughs> <laughs> like it was like fun and like i don't know we were just like talking and hanging out and having drinks and 
we were literally sitting at the kitchen table like what mm -hmm. you know i mean but that's how like things get started because like where else would you start you yeah know? yeah i mean like it the the some things some things that you aspire to do like the most important thing is just to like we didn't really have much of a plan going into it but i think the most important things with things like that is just to start and put action yeah put, put the rubber to the road because sometimes you can plan and plan and plan and never actually take action and then that's just worse than not taking action at oh, all. oh definitely yeah definitely um okay so what do you think you want to we'll play a little clip a little something yeah so let's let's, let's uh hear some stuff what time stamp i'm thinking probably the like the second half because i feel like the beginning of that we were just kind of like covid and <laughs> covid COVID. Uh, start just start the player from like the exact middle of the of the play slider the exact middle yeah like okay. right above the play button all right all right peeps there it is but i thought duh all i have to do is just dress up my top dress up my top slash put on my um my jet like my suit coat right and and just wear maybe some shorts because i think during that time it was like the summer the end of the summer so i'm not putting on any pants it's too hot for that shit <laughs> So it just kind of remind me of that time, like to dress up for one occasion. One thing. One thing. college, when you own like one tie or one nice thing, just in case something happens. Just in case you have an internship that you need to interview for. Yeah. I wonder if anyone we know still has situation like they have one nice outfit <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i don't know if you guys could hear me like quietly laughing but yeah i remember that part it was like we we're talking about something about like interviewing or people like looking for a job i think like during covid and i was like saying you know how this was like obviously before covid but when I was interviewing for like new jobs and that was like the first time I actually took an interview from my home and this was when I was in Havertown and they wanted to do a video interview and so I thought well whatever I'm just gonna like dress from my waist up right head, head to waist <laughs> yeah so but that was like a funny part because I feel like after that I got like pretty funny but... I think in hindsight after listening to that I realized that um, like putting my if I put myself in like a college student's shoes right now trying to find a job like you don't have to buy a full suit anymore you just have to buy the jacket the shirt and the tie you don't have to buy the pants so you, you can save money on that stuff now it's kind of oh my god funny. their parents must be like praising like <laughs> or or the student who has to pay for it themselves like I did yeah well can't you still like rent too you can rent. Do you think you could just you could just rent like a a coat, right? Yeah, you Kinda can rent single pieces. Yeah. I like to rent a coat. But the thing is, like, you're renting a coat that other people have worn, so it's a little risk from a COVID standpoint. It's kind of risky, but. Well, yeah, I mean. Ri high risk they versus probably, high reward. I mean, I don't know, but I'm sure they probably did. Well, uh, they probably did like sign a waiver, like risk. <laughs> at your own life <laughs> <laughs> or or maybe the rent rental people have like come up with a special way to like spray it down with disinfectant but it's like but they should be washing it so it's, that should be enough right i don't know if dry cleaning oh kills. well dry cleaning that's true i don't know if that i'm thinking like oh viruses. it's a washing machine that would be that would be nice to research later if dry hmm. cleaning clean kills viruses i um i remember seeing a commercial now pff, this was only one time i think i saw it so don't really remember i feel like in order to remember something you have to be told six times i remember learning that in psych class oh. 
<laughs> Although I was only told that once. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, on that note <laughs> on that note i'm brilliant uh, <laughs> um so okay so one other one i'm trying to like go in order here so your guys are in like you went from the first episode to like the 24th episode and now back to the third episode okay all right so the next one was not so proud when the cops spot you so now this was one Matt did not join me on, um, but this was one where I was basically just telling you guys about like my college experiences and how I just kind of just, you know, kept running into the cops <laughs> you, without being cut. <laughs> you criminal, you. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like nothing ever happened, but it was just like, it was just like funny. I don't know, but just like weird like random stories that were happening and it was honestly mostly I I think yeah it was like freshman year I just remember like Paige Mellon was um you know with me by my side and all those just because she's my roommate my roommate or in New England they'd call it rum mate yes didn't know that rum I'm like uh what it I thought what they do call, you say? I thought, I ca- thought, I ca- I thought they. Uh, I thought they called it flatmate. Yeah, in Europe. No, I thought in England. Yeah, well, UK, Europe, but not in New England. We sound. We're 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 just sounding so American right now. Yeah. On this, okay. This podcast. So, <laughs> um, we can go to a timestamp. Um, which. Uh, go like twenty five percent in. Um, Maybe like a nudge above twenty five percent. Okay, um, just give me scrolling, one scrolling. So, well, so my website, guys. There's that load more button, and I already did this because. Oh wait, here it is. I already did this to get it set up, so we don't have to like wait. But here we are, waiting. Okay, so oh, this one I talked kind of long, guys. <laughs> oh, okay, so twenty five. We'll just do right there. Well, six minutes. That's I'm probably still talking about my walks. <laughs> oh, then all right, bump it Let up. Let me do like fifteen. Yeah, right. No, Fif- no, it's too ah. far. Back, back, yeah. back. No, back, yeah. back, 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 back. Right there. Here. Yeah. Okay. All right. Get ready. Go. We could get drunk faster. Here we go. Slow down like so many beers. And this was just like a couple drinks and you're like effed up. But yeah, our go-to was vodka. And mind you, it was brunettes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> like disgusting now. I couldn't even like... Ooh. Like how do they even sell that now? I don't even know. So um, my friends and I, we got in the car and we drove in Providence. On so Burnett's? School at Johnson & Wales, for those that you don't know. And um, in Providence, I just knew it. And yeah, so we were with my friends. I think she had a Jetta, and she was driving. Good old and Jetta. I think there was two other people, and then myself. So I was sitting in the back, and this is horrible. But and I'm sure probably other people have done this too. But we obviously weren't 21 yet, and um, it's the first time I'm hearing this. My friend that was driving, she. I thought you listened to this. Closer to 21 than we were, so maybe she had like a year or. It might have even been closer at that point, but... This might be the second time I'm hearing this. We drove around, and we got to the liquor store, and we parked outside, crossed the street from it, a little further down, and I think there was Real discreet. Guy, I don't even think Those he... Those are terrible criminals. In the, <laughs> ...in the liquor store, but he was just walking on the sidewalk, very close to the liquor store so we're like oh a lot of detail a lot of detail ask this guy to buy us alcohol like <laughs> why would he do that why because because it's smart trouble or like <laughs> somehow we were like so fearless i guess and we were just like eff it like you're still fearless alcohol and like that's like your only priority when you're a freshman you know in college 
so. Okay. <laughs> you know, that reminds me of the time I tried to ask a guy at Motel Sporting Goods, just a random guy, to buy my brother and I uh, uh, airsoft guns when we were like what? 16. Yeah. Airsoft guns? Yeah. They're like. What on earth is that? A Nerf like, gun? They're like BB guns, but they're spring loaded and they shoot like plastic pellets instead of metal pellet pellets. Ooh. Ah. Well, we'll talk about it in a second. You almost did it. <laughs> we'll talk about it. Um. No, but that. Just like all of that. I just remember being like terrified because I thought, you know, being an athlete at school, I'm like, oh my God, like, I. I may not even play tennis. That was actually, I think, my first thought. <laughs> what? Because you're about to do something illegal? <laughs> yeah. It wasn't <laughs> like that I could go to jail. It wasn't that... I don't know. But, like, that was my first thought. Because, like, being an athlete was like, whoa. hey yo, hey <laughs> um, No, but it was just, like, so... Like, it was just, like really like horrible time because i was literally just sitting in the back and then by the time like the cops saw us doesn't the burnett's vodka roll out under the seat cool nicole i mean leslie aren't... <laughs> <laughs> but about, it's like shit. Say, aren't those bottles not round <laughs> but it was like out of a movie i felt like because it I had zero like idea it was there and then it literally just like decided to roll out like hey the cops are here roll out roll out roll out I swear officer it's not my drugs and then here it was like her boyfriends who like we knew and then we're like fucking fucking Chad <laughs> <laughs> hey why do you guys throw Chad on the my friend Chad might be listening to this podcast who knows I was trying to. <laughs> Well, because the name that... <clears throat> um, Call him Brad. Something. The name that I was going to say is not that common. So then it'd be like, oh, okay. Xavier. <laughs> Damn it, Xavier. <laughs> Xavier was actually one of our dorm halls. The name of the hall, but not a person. Right, yeah. Oh, okay. Then we could throw Xavier under the bus. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so it was just like hilarious but i don't know yeah it's just funny to hear some of like the older episodes um especially like you know it's just kind of like with anything like once you start doing them like the first time for everything like you're not gonna be good at it mm -hmm. it's literally literally for anything um kissing um sex um driving car um drinking alcohol playing the violin in carnegie hall that takes practice <laughs> uh, singing you know like all these things so like now that i'm at you know this this is episode 35 what's mm -hmm. up like hey you're listening to the result of a journey um, up until now anyway <laughs> what's the next yeah clip? so yeah we'll keep it moving for you guys so the next one that i liked so this one was with you when we were talking about well the name of the episode was we are the sims so we're getting a little sciencey we're getting a little weird you know and i really enjoyed it because you know up until that point like you know i'm trying to make it like all these random topics so i'm you know have something for everyone and it's not just like for women although a lot of women are like my listeners so um womp, womp. hello <laughs> <laughs> hello women <laughs> and men <clears throat> yeah, and the few men <laughs> start getting like a deep voice maybe i'll attract hi guys maybe not um what was I saying? We are the Sims. So, but it was just like fun because it's it's a topic that kind of gets you thinking. You know, it's like, well, why are we here on Earth? Right? Mm -hmm. Oh my God, Lydia! <laughs> I was waiting for you. Lydia to see her. just like popped up, popped out over my shoulder. <laughs> Lydia, do not whatever you do, do not jump on my computer. <laughs> she now she's gonna jump on your computer. 
I have a drink in my hand. I only have one arm to like say, watch out. <laughs> she won't. She won't. Um, so, I mean, what? I know you really were looking forward to the episode because you like all, I mean, similar to me, but, you know, you like more science topics and like it's, it's okay you you can call me a nerd it really is <laughs> <laughs> yes i do like those things so yes naturally i was excited to talk about this stuff and then the title i mean the sims who doesn't love the sims <laughs> who doesn't love video games am i right am i right I think like last year, or not even last year. This must have, must have been like two years ago. I think I was still in Havertown. I was like, you know what? I feel like playing The Sims. So do you know what I did? Certainly downloaded it on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> I will say I do miss the desktop version. On you know back in the AOL days. So. Oh God! Let's at any rate, down that rabbit hole. <laughs> at any rate, um, which uh, which uh, which uh, <laughs> how are how long is it? Let let me uh, pick a number oh, between wow. zero and however long it is. Well, they're they're all roughly thirty minutes. Am I right? So let's do twenty twenty minutes and thirty seconds. All right, we'll just take a little second here. 34 minutes it is. You know what? I'm uh, going to okay. open a new tab in this, John. So clear. That's a Philly term. John, peace, John. Um, if you wouldn't mind repeating the time stamp. 20 minutes and 30 seconds. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You can be close, it doesn't have to be exact. 2029, I got. Oh my god who knew we were gonna get to a point where it's just not talking about straight facts yeah it's it's kind of funny because the moment you were playing that i I, mean, I immediately thought like man i sound really boring <laughs> <laughs> very monotone voice <laughs> and like myself <laughs> so if anyone felt the same exact way i empathize <laughs> if anyone thinks i should do voiceovers raise your hand now me or you me <laughs> definitely not me i'm keeping my hand down <laughs> <sighs> i mean i would love to do voiceovers and just do like she like cartoon you know what i mean like what comes to mind is that uh show on netflix f is mm-hmm. for family and they have like all those different characters and like some are like like kind of like really fun. Lydia, would you quiet down, quiet down? Um, but I'm like I could totally do that, and I have like so many different voices, <laughs> so many. Um, but now it's funny, just yeah. Skip, skip to like skip to like fifteen ish minutes, and let's just play like a like a brief clip. I just want to hear what the rest of that episode was about. 15 so we're yeah. going back yeah if, okay. it, if it's my voice <laughs> change change the time okay. <laughs> okay. Just one second. Ooh, 1501 i got guys 1501 oh my you. god damn it shot <laughs> <laughs> all right move to the slide. i'm gonna go to like 22 jezero crater <laughs> by the time it gets to that crater it'll be roughly around February 18th of 
2021. A lot of facts. Oh, so, that's soon. And when I was reading about this, it's interesting just because of the certain conditions. They really only have a certain amount of time frame to plan all this. So if that window is gone, you know, with the this delay, I think there are some technical issues. They're, they may have to wait until, I think they said until uh, the fall. So to even, you know, do the whole experience first onto Mars and then do the whole crater um, initiative there. Sorry, I'm getting a lot of boring stuff. Hmm. Yeah, you can pause it there. Well, yeah. we captured the wrong moments for you, so we apologize. <laughs> well, no, that's actually I'm cool because that reminds reminds <laughs> us that something's happening in three two months. Something well, like... shiitake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I seriously thought you were about to say like, well, shit. <laughs> well, I was, and then I thought you I would change yourself. it up. Um, what's next? So, what is next is one of my faves. It was. Uh, the episode a metro and two vans later I had so much fun just recording this because the time that I had in Europe with my family and then also kind of departing from my parents at a point and then it was my brother and I just kind of like doing whatever and traveling in Europe and it was so fun and just so fun to share you know and on a podcast right because <laughs> you know it's like you take a vacation your friends maybe some family ask you oh well, how's your vacation and you just kind of say like oh yeah it was good oh yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah we had like a delay okay. a delayed flight <laughs> we played we played cards uh we walked some places you know you don't really unless you don't tell them about it's the vacation. too especially if you're not you know maybe you don't have plans like right away to see some people so then it's like then it's kind of forgotten and now people don't really care and they don't care to ask you again okay so this was like super fun to like literally capture every single moment in detail guys i remember i had to look in my journal to like remember the details because what I like to do, and I, I think I may have said this in that episode, that anytime I go on a vacation, I like to journal, like, each day, like, things that I did and, like, maybe something funny happened or, like, whatever because cause then you forget. Like, sure, you remember the highlights, but the details, <laughs> those are out the window. <laughs> Gone. Gone. Um, so this was, like, hysterical, um, but... Um, Matt, I'm not sure if, uh, if you, I think, didn't you hear this one or maybe not, but, um, what, I think I did. what are you thinking for the timestamp here? Um, do you want to go a little bit more towards the end? So maybe like okay. 75%. 75%. Oh, okay. Ooh. That's fine. That's more like 60%, but... <laughs> Well, who's um, counting? For something you wear or something you bought, and maybe you didn't think that you would get so many compliments from like buying this, but you do, and yeah, so it's just like one of those things. Um, so anyway, like I got gelato there. I got the pistachio gelato. Oh my gosh! Like it was just like, oh my god, get it in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to dub that and put in a song. Yeah, so um, I got it twice cuz it was that good, but it's so nice getting it there because of the portion size. Like This was in Italy. Need, like five fucking scoops of ice cream, right? And you, you just give me five right there. So, I just give me a bite and it's going to be fine. So, they had these like little, you know, little cone, a little, you know, literally one scoop and it fits just nicely and it's perfect, you know. And that's how everyone <laughs> YOLO, I guess. Um, so I'll try to. Okay, well, there was a part that 
wasn't really about the traveling part, but well, I'm like what I, that part kind of inspired me because it made me think that like, do you remember that song that got the chain smokers really famous? Selfie. No. <laughs> well, look it up. But basically, I was like, oh, I could take that like clip of you and make like a EDM hit out of it. <laughs> <laughs> now you're interesting like, <laughs> but that clip that was yeah towards the end of the trip so um that was just talking about like venice and that experience and the ice cream and all that um but if you haven't listened to that episode, definitely start from the beginning because there's things that, like, we didn't think was going to happen, and it did, and it was just, like, wild and crazy. Yeah, Wild and crazy I, yeah. kids! I remember this episode now. It was interesting, so definitely listen to it from the beginning. <laughs> so another one that I enjoyed, this was, like, I'd say more recently because it was the fall, like, the autumnlicious episode, and... First off, do you know who came up with the title for this one? Matt did. I was like, Matt, what do you think I should call this? I'm like, I'm talking about a lot of, like, different fall foods, but it's, like, not just straight pumpkin. But I'm also not talking about, like, Thanksgiving because I want to have a dedicated episode for Thanksgiving. But what do I call it? And he's just like, he thought about it for, like, ten seconds, and he's like, Autumn Lucius. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm is, like, is that how I is that, <laughs> is that how I sound to you? <laughs> do, the, do the voice. <laughs> do the voice again. Autumnlicious. All right, let's compare it. Autumnlicious. Autumnlicious. I can't. What the? <laughs> <laughs> I can't. That was very I different. Have a female voice. <laughs> but you're a- I am this shit. A- <laughs> Don't sound like that. <laughs> well, it's, it's more fun to just like create your own. <laughs> create your own, right? She does this a lot, guys. So just keep that in mind. <laughs> create your own voice. Uh. Oh, he peed on the seat. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start a animation series. It's called uh, Dana and Matt. <laughs> Dan and Matt pee on the seat. And then I'll, I will do both the voices. <laughs> that'll be that's the, how that'll I'll be kick off my voiceover my career. career. <laughs> yeah, done and uh, and then uh, producers will approach you be like, "We like your voice acting, but you got to drop this Matt character. He's just so bad." <laughs> <laughs> um. No, but I like this one because this was actually the first time I record, I video recorded um, on top of recording. And so I haven't shared that yet, but when I have more time um, over the holiday break, I'm going to put that in my IGTV. <laughs> um, so you guys can see it because, I mean, you, when you hear it and see me, like, whoa. Well, you can see like my like crazy faces. <laughs> <laughs> let's just uh, let's just stop stop the recording at that and be like, when you see me, it's just like whoa. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be the intro line. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, whoa, my butt is like whoa, your hair is like. It's <laughs> a song. It's a song from like two thousand three. Yeah, but you're saying it. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> um. So we'll just do a short um. Short quick. short clip. Clap clap clap. Oh. Just close your eyes and pick a spot. Well, once I get there. Pick okay. a number between one and ten. Nine. Okay. Do I'm only you... saying that because some of the episodes I realize I kind of chat a lot about the walks. <laughs> In the beginning, so that could take nine minutes. All right, well, if we hear stuff about a cock, then we'll skip ahead. A cock? The chicken. Oh. The rooster. Nine minutes exactly, I got. Okay. Um, with apple cider donuts, so I'm not big on sweets in the morning. Now, if I was... Oh, 
a little treat. I guess, like, if someone had gotten them, maybe a neighbor or something had got them a little trip, a little vacation, fall vacation, whatever, um, or someone's coming to town and brings them, then sure, I'll, I'll have it, but I have to have it with maybe just black coffee. I tend to put, like, some cream in, but I think it just... Too much, too much, too much for my taste buds. Okay. Um, so there's that. <laughs> but yeah, <clears throat> I plan to put that up on IGTV. And so you can, like, see, like, what's up? Look at my face. <laughs> 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 yeah, look at her face. <laughs> um, okay. So, one of the last ones that I really liked was the landline episode, um, the landline days. And it's funny because it wasn't until recently that I realized the show Pen15 was out. And actually, it had already been out, but I just didn't know um, on Hulu. And, you know, how it's like these two women who are like in their 30s, early 30s. And then they play, like, seventh graders. And so, like, an AOL episode comes up there. And so, um, it was just kind of random, like, how I happened to think, like, oh, you know, I'm just going to do this episode here. Like, whatever. Like, not even realizing that, you know, this is part of a series right now, like, and being featured. So, um, so there's that. But it was just kind of, like, nice to, like... Um, just like talk about like well what was it like when we had like you know even before a flip phone because we were kids and teenagers and I mean there was, when... no, there was nothing before a flip phone well yeah and did you have your own phone in your room you definitely did no absolutely not you didn't no I didn't only oh. girls did only girls that's not yeah, true yeah because they had to talk to all these boys wow did you have a phone? I sure did. Oh, wow. You're spoiled. <laughs> what? I didn't have it right away. <laughs> the fact that you had it at all. <laughs> I never had a phone in my room until until I got a cell phone. Well, when did you get a cell phone? When I had college. When I went to college. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. <laughs> I think it was actually high school, actually. Yeah, what? 16. I think it was 16. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. What yeah. did you what kind of fun did you have? Uh Was it a razor? No, it was Did you get the razor? No, I wanted to. Oh my god. My parents were what like, "What are you doing?" Good. My parents have been with Sprint for like 20 years, so we got what the razor wasn't available on Sprint. Oh my god. I wanted it though cuz it was trendy as as fuck, but it wasn't <clears> available. <throat> So I got wow. some like weird like blue gr blue and gray flip phone. Blue and gray flip phone. I could play Tetris on it, take decent pictures. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say something, but I will hold it back. Ah, uh, what were you taking pictures with? I was taking pictures of my dick. I'm kidding. <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, all right, we'll keep it PG. JK, all this shit's explicit. Um, so, okay. So let me share a short clip for you guys. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to go in the middle, towards the middle. Yeah. I'm just going to go, like, right, like, right before the little play button. About 1353. Okay. Boop, boop, boop. And it'll just like shoot out and like you could just constantly do it and try all these different combinations to see what was going to spit out. Oh, um, that's just so sexual. Well, there's a chat room. I think then we probably remembered some basic ones like yeah. welcome or goodbye. <laughs> and that would be that. But the chat rooms back then was just was so interesting. Um, just, you know, we don't have something like that really today. I mean, the closest thing yeah, we do. Think that maybe if you're you're playing video games online and like, For a chat. somewhat similar in the sense you're just. 
Oh, Mackle. Random people, you know. Um, so a little bit different because you're not like really typing the entire time, but just so funny. Um, because now, yeah, it's just not not there. I mean, although I haven't really looked for a chat room because why? What? I that just it screams like stalker, psycho. <laughs> you know, if if you're trying to. You're trying to stay alive. <laughs> Do not Great song. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What are you saying? You're saying there there are chat rooms? Yeah, like I will? Like yeah, you do the good. bleep 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 bleep? <laughs> no, it's Omegle is one. A what? Omegle. The hell is that? You log on and it randomly pairs you in a video chat with someone else. And you know this You've never heard of Omegle? Why would I hear of this? All right, so Omegle was Talk around, was very popular in like the early 2000s. And then it got taken down because like a lot of shade. It was like a dark, dark spot. Okay, so early 2000s, aka the same timeline as AOL. I think it was like 2000, early 2010s. This is like college period. Early 2010s okay yeah well that's a little different on what's all that yeah it was during our college college years okay well during college i had boyfriends so i'm not looking to chat online and it was still a thrill to be paired up with some random person sounds horrible let me just find your ip address and oh i ring your doorbell and then i slice ya (laughs) kind of scary it's anonymous. Don't worry about it. It's a little scary. So you've used it or you didn't use it? Yeah. You used it? Yeah, just to, it's just you get paired with random people and sometimes they're doing weird stuff, sometimes they're not. So do what? To it's talk? Ran- it's random. But yeah. to, like what was it meant for? Like to talk? It just pairs you in a video chat room with a random person. Like a pen and, pal. And anything goes. I feel like this kind of sounds familiar, but then I like it doesn't. But. Yeah, so some people do promiscuous things, some people do funny things, some people do nothing at all. All right. The name doesn't sound familiar, but what you're describing sounds familiar, if that makes sense. Yeah, it used to be called chat roulette. Okay, yes, I've heard that sounds more familiar. Chat yes. roulette became Omegle. Okay, that does not sound right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, anywho, um, that was an episode I really enjoyed, and it was just, like, nice to, like, think about, like, like what was it like before we had a smartphone, uh, a flip phone, you know what I mean? Like, literally all these things where you have to remember everyone's number, otherwise you're not going to be hanging out. You're going to be alone. You're going to be alone that night. Um, it's a valuable skill to learn now. Remembering numbers. Why is it valuable now? In case all the cell towers go down, you gotta or something. You well, gotta remember, keep your phone see? Dies, you gotta remember some emergency contacts. Well, see, <laughs> pretty sure I know yours. Do you? Don't read it out right now. I'm not gonna <laughs> read it out right now. But you don't know mine, and it's very easy, guys. It's very easy. A lot of similar back-to-back same digits, if you will. 484. Why are you saying your number? That's not my number. It's just one, three numbers. Okay, well, that's not the start of my number. So, good try. But he failed. (laughs) I think yours is a 215. Sure, it's a two on five. Because you're, luck- you're lucky. I'm lucky? Yeah, it's a hard number to get nowadays. Wow. Wow, guys. I don't know. What does your number start with, my peeps? JK, you don't have to answer that. Um, Starts with pen 15. Well, I tried to burp and just kind of was like uh, <laughs> indigestion. We got that on tape. So, yeah, those were, like, our favorite episodes. Did you have any other favorites or, like, something to share about any of the episodes? 
Not really. Not really. <laughs> His voice just got super high. <laughs> You're like, this wasn't in the plan. <laughs> uh, this was not in the outline that you provided. Kind of putting me on the spot. What's it? Why do you like making that sound? Like, like <laughs> the gagging sound. <laughs> that that's not gagging. <laughs> <laughs> you do it when you laugh. Sometimes you're like, <laughs> yeah, because I'm joking. I'm not like actually joking. But, um, no, I like that because. I thought it was, like, really funny when we saw a comedy show over at Southern Cross. It was, it was like, literally, like, literally a break of COVID. It was, like, the end of February. We saw the show, and they had some comedians, and this one woman was, like, hilarious. <clears throat> and she was, like, imitating her daughter, and she kept going, like, <laughs> you know? <laughs> it was just, like, oh, my God. And then it was, like, again, I was, like, oh, my God. Yeah, my God. <laughs> 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 so um yeah if you haven't realized this is more than 30 minutes because this is a bonus you'll see it in um the episode and i will give you a shout out and um you know bonus it is but i just wanted to recap um I also wanted to share with you like some of the top most downloaded song songs. songs. <laughs> you now I'm an artist. Oh my god. So no. So the top most downloaded episodes, what I have captured, okay. Um, the pilot episode, which we discussed, the not so proud when the cops spot you episode. We are the Sims, whipping up something new in all things music part one. Yeah. So how cool is that? And um, so, yeah. <laughs> but please be sure to keep an eye out for a Christmas episode um, coming up and a New Year's Eve and slash New Year's episode. You know, I'll be speaking about that and some experiences and things like that. Um, but I'm so happy to wrap this episode up. So thanks for the support. Keep reaching out with some ideas. If you have something else, you know, you want me to talk about, just give me a holler, okay? So you can go to the website, thebigdamepodcast.com slash contact. Okay, you can send me a little note. So now you can just toggle back over to the podcast section. Are you with me? Right? And, um, you know, I don't know. Maybe you would listen to an episode on your favorite platform Spotify, Google Stitcher, Apple there you have it all four (laughs) and um, I'll just say that you know I do plan on having for 2021 YouTube so all the YouTubers can have a little fun Listening you know, on that platform. You know, seeing something and listening to something. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, it's just, it's finding the time, you know, it's it's a lot. So, anyway, um, just be sure to look out for all the updates, right, on the Facebook and Instagram, all right? So, I hope you enjoyed this wrap-up episode, and have a great rest of the week. Bye. Peace out.